Before I move on, this is what I want to show. Since Libby has been away from the Sovana troop, it seems as though Vios are handling Rainbow even more. Now they're having, fans, as they like to call them, visit the Sovana troop and they also handle Rainbow too. No one is supposed to feed them, or touch them. But these VOs don't care to listen. I wonder if the, fans, know this. Looks like Kasal is being on his best behavior. Did he forget his slingshot? This seems like the most friendly I've seen this man, fake friendly like a waiter. I wonder if the fans pay them for these Savannah troop tours. Oh, wait. Now that you know what's been going on with Rainbow while Libby has been away, let's look at the footage the VOs captured. Briefly I must mention that Libby regurgitates when she's under a lot of stress. This is a video of her not too long ago. The last time I saw Libby do this was in the beginning when the switch occurred between Brady and Rainbow. It's been a while now, so this gives me further belief into my theory that Libby is being sent off to become pregnant. Primatologists actually consider this as an abnormal behavior related to stress. They also believe that overgrooming as a lower ranking member can also lead to regurgitation under stress. Kind of like a cat with a hairball. For Libby though, I would say it's mostly stress, but she sure does love to groom too. It's my opinion that Libby didn't kidnap Nanda's baby, Nala. 
I believe a VO caught Nala and gave her to Libby. We know how accepting Libby is to new babies. I had a bit of deja vu while seeing this video. The confusion and then nervousness is almost identical to when the switch occurred between Rainbow and Brady. Did she believe she was being handed Rainbow? Let's look back on the day of the switch. Does it look similar? Only this time, she's not as confused. I'm surprised how peaceful and quiet Nala is, and she even can sleep. But then again, it shows me how easy it would be for a VO to snag her and hand her off to Libby. I'm guessing they did this to keep her in the Amber Troop. The VOs want you to think that Libby is neglectful towards Rainbow, and rather care for another baby in the Amber Troop by allowing Nala to nurse. Libby isn't nursing her. Nala is just laying on her chest. There is Nanda. Libby seems to get along with her. Nanda would like her baby back though. Maybe Libby started liking the idea that she could carry a baby since she wasn't being allowed to carry her own. Here Libby had Nala at the Savanna Troop. In one of my other videos, I showed that Libby would take Rainbow with her to visit Rose at the Amber Troop. So I see no reason as to why she would go alone. Why would VOs be watching to see if Libby mates, if they weren't making sure she gets pregnant to the schedule they want her to follow? I'm sure Libby would have made it on her own eventually. But without Rainbow with her is where I don't believe she was willing to leave Rainbow behind and was forced to go to the Amber Troop. On Facebook, Casal talked about how Libby is ready to have another baby. At the time he said that, it was just known that Katrina and Luna became pregnant. That seemed out of line since Libby at the time had no sexual swelling. In my opinion, had they not forced her to stop breastfeeding so frequently by leaving Rainbow behind, I don't think she at all would have interest in mating. All these people care about is their wallets and not the stress they put these animals into.